Yes, we are here. Ah, uh, Shekhana. I've been feeling your love vibration and um, I send you greetings and uh, unconditional love, which I've been feeling waves of this unconditional love and um, now being able to connect more with it. It's getting stronger. I'm living in the flow now i've, I've been through a few cha uh, challenging uh, situations but i'm just putting those aside i don't uh, i don't need to talk about those i just um feeling <clears throat> unconditional love yes and this is how you experience more of yourself in tuning to this vibration that everything is made out of self indeed. And thank you for using what we share with you in your daily life. We have been accompanying you. Yes, I feel that. Yes. It's all coming together. Yes, I, I've allowed myself the experience of having calm and which has allowed me to um, a serenity, serenity, which has allowed me to uh, connect more strongly now than I have been uh, lately due to um, challenging situations. So, uh, yes. Then our co-creations together have, um, have helped me uh, greatly. Whereas before I used to, I used to uh, try and prepare for our meetings, but now I'm just going with the flow. And um, now being able to feel that flow and having a experience, a heightened experience um, is, 
yes, now allowing me to uh, to use that uh, knowingness more often. Thank you. Yes. And we would like to challenge you with the question. Do, oh, please. Do you prefer to believe that you need challenges to move forward in your life? Uh, no. I'm not hesitating. I, I know I don't need challenges. I know I just need connection. Connection, challenge, ch channeling my higher self, allowing for synchronicity. I've had enough. I've, I've done, I've had lots of challenges and no, I, <laughs> challenges, is, uh, I'm not going to be using that word to, uh, so much more often now. <laughs> yes, good word. It's better word than a problem. <laughs> Yet, we agree with you. Yes. <sighs> and, and I feel now that I'm, I'm arriving at that state of uh, feeling my power. I. I know what it is now to feel my power. I'm having lots of uh, moments like that, and um, and I'm and I know now also that it's just me who's making me well, the, not making me happy, but uh, it's just me who's allowing the happiness rather than expecting or wanting it from someone else, yeah. and um, being in situations where it's the quite the opposite of uh, someone wanting not intentionally but projecting out their own um uh, state of being and me not reacting to that uh, i know now that my uh, connection that i'm having hasn't got anything to do with any anyone else it's just uh, to do with me Yes, thank you. Yes, others are. That means others are helping you to let go of your triggers, right? Yes, the great, uh, <laughs> great Christmas presents. <laughs> Probably the best Christmas presents, yes. And, and what I understand now is that they're doing it with love. It might not be projected out from them in a conscious way that it is love, but I'm seeing that everything is projected out from that point of love. Indeed. Into different perspectives um, f from, from that uh, person. Yes. Yes, it's be uh, not well understood love, but still it is love. Yes. Yeah. At at its core at its core being. Yeah. Yes, I understand um it's being done on um a different level that they're not um aware of they're not the vibration of to 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 see it and and that's okay i know that they'll reach that level um in their own time if if they're able to if they're if their core beliefs that are stopping them um uh feeling feeling that then then that will be that will be their experience uh, but I, i'm not um looking at their ex experience with me as uh, a negative um a negative thing yes that love vibration is needed and Happiness and joy is needed 
for the creation that emotion that emotion is needed for the creation of the next and the next moment so it's yeah. always there and sometimes the love is in them showing you that you can choose better that you can do different that you can act out from that love so they are giving you gift of having the ability to see in contrast what you prefer yes Yes, I used to think, oh, they're not giving me gifts, but they're giving me the best gifts. And I'm, and I'm taking them with appreciation, accepting them with appreciation. Yes, and that yeah. way more to appreciate can come into your reality. Then more to appreciate can become your reality appreciation is the openness to receive more of yes. even though you appreciate it, you perhaps appreciated something that you didn't prefer to occur yet you are still opening to positive reality for yourself because you are supporting the cooperative aspect of it you know that it is for you that it is not against you and then you allow more of that which is for you to occur yes i'm feeling that greatly and um, you're just giving me the confirmation of that and um, yes, it's uh, very appreciated because ultimately it's, I'm appreciating them, but it's the appreciation of myself. I'm allowing myself to appreciate myself. Yes. And supporting them. Exactly. We know this might sound strange to some people who are understanding the multi-dimensionality of things. So we explain and reiterate that you are holographic. So it doesn't matter that you are allowing the change that you are making to be manifested on yourself, just for yourself, or through others, with others, in cooperation with others. And of course, it's much more fun to share the creative endeavor. To co-create is more fun than to create for yourself, because when you have no one to share it with, then who cares? It doesn't make one complete to be alone. You need to know that there are others to share it with. You are alone when you know you are complete and alone only when you know that you include it all, that it is all in you. Then it's all in, not really ever alone. Yes, of course, it's the, <laughs> the reflection of myself. Yes. 
yes, it's um, you yeah, everything listen is in good. your conversation and perhaps first confusion about who is the source of the information. And as you said, it is always you. And that is the paradox. And yet, it is the truth. Because all truths are true. And as you said, it just depends what you put into your backpack with you. And those are the beliefs that are, you are using to manifest your reality through, to filter your reality through. So we recommend in those instances when you are not sure about the information coming through. We recommend to go neutral, to see no meaning in anything, to see everything as meaningless, as pointless. And that will release you from perhaps limiting or negative, as you may say, attachment or filter is this making some sense to you yes it's making lots of sense <clears throat> and i do in fact tell other people that and i know now when i'm telling somebody else that that it's for me and really i don't need to tell them i just I just need to stay in that neutral pace and just uh, see it. Yeah, I, I totally get that. Thank you. The power. I'm feeling my power. Is there anything else that you'd like to uh, to give me or any questions you'd like to ask me? We would like to ask you, what color do you like right now? It's something serene. It's the, the blue of... It's the blue of the ocean and the blue of the the sky when it goes from light to dark. It's yeah, I can just feel blue washing or washing all over me. Beautiful. Thank you. And those colors that you might be perceiving are the communication from higher non physical realms usually. It is their communication, their words. And you will perceive different tints and moods and tastes of those colors that you usually label by name. And while these communications expand, even your receptivity or range of your ability to see colors in your reality will widen. Yes, I've, I've had this, uh, <clears throat> I've had this experience and uh, I know how to to tell when I'm in that state. Yes, I, um, I understand that. Thank you. So these colors, these states, you can immerse yourself in them. You can go deeper in those colors. They lead you through the states that are 
as your tuning knob on your radio to tune to the station or reality of what your higher self or your guides in higher realms are offering you. So these colors are like commercials in your TV or the realities that you might want to experience and feel. Oh, yes, I, I understand that. Yes. <clears throat> so for, for me to use those colors to just to get into that state without actually thinking of w what I want, it's just being in that state and um, allowing allowing uh, the synchronicity to uh, to take over and i i also feel that because the blue the blue that um, i'm feeling and then being connected with the uh, the whale and energy allowing me to to, to 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 yes to streamline myself and to to feel safe in my surroundings so I am able to dive deeper and um, experience myself more and, and know myself more. Yes. In future, you will not need words. Words will not be enough for you to... express yourself you will transfer emotions among you and those emotions will translate as perhaps pictures or colors or feelings to you and you will not have words for those those are much richer than words may be. Those are multi-dimensional communication tools, while words are linear, linear. Does this make sense? Yes, it makes lots of sense. And I do have moments like that, just, um, um, you know, what I was uh, just doing before with the, uh, the red and the green. <clears throat> Uh, I, I I seem to get lots f just from th the focusing on that color straight away, and um, yes, yeah, sometimes it's so much that there's not enough words or the word. Um, yeah, it's more it's more of a feeling. I, I'm feeling the uh, feeling emotion of of that. I'd like your perspective of what we as a collective consciousness, because all I can see is in myself the acceleration that uh, we're experiencing is obviously going to filter down to the collective to, to raise um, to raise the collective um, vibration time is going faster and faster isn't it yes it is so so I can see that's going to uh, increase greatly um, the potential but then obviously the the, um, the the balance side of that is um, also, um, you know, the side that uh, isn't as enjoyable and that 
you know, are more people going to be choosing that or, or how, how's that acceleration going to, um, <laughs> how to, to, to be for other people? How does it make sense to you? Time is going faster and faster, isn't it? What does it say to you? What does it mean? To be, to be able to <clears throat> to actually get back to that neutral point of of no time. Yes, I do. But you understand that time is illusion, right? Yes. Yes. So you are actually compressing your processes. That's yes. how it manifests to you then as time going faster and faster. You will, in non-physical, not need any time to manifest anything. It will be instantaneous. So while you are in physical reality or semi-physical at this moment, your time is reflecting your ability to manifest fast, to manifest immediately, but yet you are still holding on to processes which are unnecessary. So we encourage you with this hint to redefine your processes, to see that you really do not need this and this and this and this to occur before this, what you really want, may occur. Does this make sense? Yes, it does. It does. Yes. <clears throat> and I suppose just have the f having the feeling of that, and I am feeling that acceleration, and um, yes, I, I, I am understanding um, what you're saying. Yes. Yeah, and, okay. and also... The break is the judgment, as we have said, while you are accelerating. And it is in sense to give you a picture, as if you were spiraling to your center. And while you are judging yourself, and you are not acting from your joy then, you are not going around in the spiral, but in a circle around the center point. So you will eventually end up in the center, but you may delay the process and you may then perceive your time to stretch and to drag. Yes, I understand that. So it's re relaxing into it. Yes. Yeah. And another break that you are using is a belief like barrier that you cannot go beyond the center of a certain point, pass beyond a certain point. And that might be another restriction in your spiraling to your center. So when you release the limiting belief as the belief that you need to do something before you get somewhere, when you release that belief, you just lie there where you wish to go. Spontaneous reality. 
Nej, det er ikke. Ja, true. Yes, I understand that. Thank you for giving us a word. Stabilize so I've been this energy of no time when you just realize you are navigating yourself through the infinite possibilities. Yes, I get that. <laughs> yes, and and that I'm able to see that knowing about other um, other me's in other parallel realities, and now being able to focus on the beliefs that they have, and yeah, it's, it's like locking it all together. So, so really, there is no rush. There's, there's no, there's no need to be even thinking. Oh, what's the new me going to be like? It's, it's just feeling for that, fe- feeling for that uh, new me. Yes. When you know that you are going the right way. You might let go of the worry about where you actually go. When you trust that you will unmistakably lead yourself to the recognition of more of yourself, to your center understanding, then it doesn't really matter which path there to the center you will take. And you can linger as long as you wish on any level. Because you ultimately exist on every level. And you are just shifting your awareness of who you are as you go. And that is the continuous, eternal change and exchange, the transition. No time at all. There is only flow. Yes, that brings forth the the feeling of serenity and and just yeah the same with the um, the color blue i'm just feeling the the flow the the ebb and flow and uh, and going with it yes it's um yes it, it's it's like getting down to basics not needing anything in the outside to be Something that's um, that, that I can interact with to 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 have connection. Yes, not needing anything, but yeah. what's coming next, and what has just happened. Those those are only portions of what you would call your past and future that you need to be interested in. What has just happened and of what is coming right now. Yes, there's a certain excitement. I can feel the excitement in that. You know, it's, it's like having a present every day. <laughs> Not knowing who's going to call you and invite you to go somewhere or to do something, I I can feel I can feel that. So uh, having present, being present, <laughs> yes, present, being present. Yeah, I love that. 
Yeah, so it, it's showing me it's all about the feeling. All about the feeling and... Um, <laughs> You know when you can when you can How see did our willingness. We should say right now, yes. Yes. I mean, I I could just sit here and feel that feeling. <laughs> I I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't need uh, anything else to um, to to feel like that. It's. Um, it's quite amazing, really. It's not amazing. I know. I know. It's how it is. When you feel that, it's. I, I can't uh, describe it. It's like everything's okay. Everything's going to be okay. Everything has been okay. And everything that you will allow to change will change. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I can see, I can feel myself going in, it's like New Year, um, being able to just not choose the, the things that I was choosing before and, uh, and, and choose the, the things that, um, that, that for me, that uh, that are me, choosing myself. <laughs> you are waiting for yourself there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's lovely. <sighs> we wish remind you all that you are always unconditionally supported. You are always unconditionally loved by you. By the God in you. And you know yourself absolutely, clearly. So let go and trust yourself. Relax into the peace within, with your surrender into the peace. Yes, that's beautiful. I, I feel we were just doing telepathy then. Yeah. I because you said earlier that uh, I won't, won't need so many words and I think I was just um, sending that vibration. I was just um, w without words. I felt that. Yes. Even when it's silent, the transmission continues. Yes. Yes. We thank you for this opportunity, for this interaction. We are in love with you. See you. I'm, I'm feeling unconditional love. Thank you. Bye bye. Be well. Yes. Oh my. <clears throat> yeah. Thanks. Wonderful. Yeah, that's great. Thanks.